You guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given an equilateral triangle with two circles that are tangent to each other and tangent to the triangle. And our goal is to find out what is the side length of the equilateral triangle. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. First, let's draw the radius of one of the circles and let's label it R. The area of a circle is equal to pi r squared, so we can say pi little r squared is equal to the area of three pi. First, let's divide both sides by pi, and we have r squared is equal to three. And then after we square root both sides, we have r is equal to the square root of three. And we can change that up here. Next, let's zoom in on this region right here. Let's extend the radius to here, and let's draw this radius to intersect this tangent line. Since it's a radius, it is also square root of three. And then a radius will always meet a tangent line at right angles. So this ends up being a right triangle. And then we also know this angle. Since this is an equilateral triangle, all of these are 60 degrees. And this cuts it in half, making this 30 degrees. And in this triangle, this last angle is 60 degrees. We now have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Let's use these notes for 30, 60, 90 triangles. In every 30, 60, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is always double the shortest side. So this hypotenuse is going to be double the square root of 3, or in other words, 2 root 3. Since this whole thing is 2 root 3, and this radius is root 3, this outer portion will also be square root of 3. Let's go up here, extend it, and label that root 3. And now inside this circle, let's extend this radius to make it a diameter. And since the radius is root 3, the whole diameter will be 2 root 3. And the same thing for this diameter, it will also be 2 root 3. And now we know this entire side here. We can add root three plus two root three plus two root three to get five root three. Now this is a right angle because the radius will meet the tangent line at a right angle. And this is 60 degrees because it's an equilateral triangle. That makes the last angle of this triangle 30 degrees. And now we can use the notes for 30, 60, 90 triangles. The side opposite the 30 is equal to N and the side opposite the 60 is equal to N root three and the side opposite the 90 is equal to 2n. So for this case right here, n is equal to five. This side is five root three, this side is five, and this side is gonna be two times five, which is 10. And this is the side we wanted. The question mark is equal to 10. This is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. And here's a preview for the next episode. How exciting.